146 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the date 12-9 of calendar 2013. What do we have before us, MMTs? We got the biotech, IBB. It's been on fire. It's been one of the best performers all year. It's a great way to be involved with biotech. And one of the things that we're going to show is every time it hits the 100-day moving average here, we get these big rallies. Today, it's made a major top over here last week, and it has a lower high. So let's just take a look at calendar 2013. Let's take a look at the this yellow line is what we call a 100-day simple moving average. And it's a great way to play the whole sector in the biotech arena. Every time we hit the 100 day, we bounce up, we make highs, but we pull back. Now, the 50 day moving average is the white line here. So having said that, we're gonna show you from where this breakout was clear back over here, when biotech was the greatest, one of the greatest areas to be involved. And that the low here was 164 in the biotech. Not only that, when we take a look at the bellwethers, we're going to take a look at VIIB, which is a bellwether biotech company in calendar 2013. They've been on fire. And we have a daily reversal. That's VIIB. CEL Jane is in this sector, and it's been one of the great greatest stocks of calendar 2013 in this whole biotech. And it too has a distribution panel. One of the other ones that we like in this sector, there's lots of them. R E G N. Now, when R E G N made its highs. It's been a great performer all year of calendar 2013. We got extremely overbought what we call the short side of this stock. And we've had some great pullbacks from 320. And one of the things that I will tell my MMTs is, is that it's testing the 100 day moving average. We know that that is a major support level. But one of the things on this name is that it's got the beginning daily moving average convergence divergence sell signal so that the lower support levels that I just drew the trend lines on, here's the higher end, here's that moving average, that's real important. Here's another one that we love in the sector, and that's Gilead Sciences. Um, it has done as well as any of them out here in the sector. And it finally got up here to a distribution today at $75. And that these biotechs have been on fire. And we are buying every pullback. And not only that, we will show once again, and we're covering it right now, because when we watch how the ETF is selling down and going below the 10 day moving average, then the broader leadership in the biotech arena are also pulling back. And the ones that we like are the ones that we're talking about. And we're dip buyers on any chance that we will get because they are going to outperform in 2014. They started in 2012. They carried on over into 2013. Let's take a look at the ETF going back to 2012. And there was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of years that biotech was left for dead. And we started this run right back over here in 2012. And we said back in 2011, it would outperform. And that 2012 would be a great year. Not only did it do that, MMTs, let's just take a look at where the peak was and the low of last year, right here. This is where we gapped up in January 2013. 
this was the greatest place to be at about $140. And not only that, you get a shares of all of the great biotech when you buy the ETF. You're involved in every one of the leaders. And it's a great way to do it. But right now, biotech is going to pull back. And like any major highs and price channels, they pull back. So... What we have to say is, is that there's a lot more stocks that are in this ETF, but we like the leadership ones, the ones that have performed the best. And what I am going to say is the same thing I said back in 2011, that 2012 would be the beginning of a major long-term breakout. And it carried over, and this is the ETF, and each one of the names that I'm talking about also have ran the same trend. Otherwise, the ETF couldn't be here. Remember, it's the leadership in the biotech that got this ETF to all-time highs. And, you know, I always tell people one thing, that we are closing out calendar year 2013. MMTs, new ones and old ones, and our worldwide trading network and all our prop traders is the following. Every dip is buyable. And this is where we look to get long and we'll take a look at why we would want to be long this ETF and how to short other ETFs so that we're diversified in the risk. So we got a great ETF that's going to break out higher and we're going to put together in 2014 several ETFs in different sectors that go down so we can be diversified in the long side using the ETFs and the short side of the ETFs that will go down in various sectors. We're going to buy the dip. First area of support is the 20-day simple moving average. That's at 174. Once again, I'm going to show another stock here on this Gilead on a weekly level. Gilead Sciences. This is what Gilead looked like on a weekly level. Here's that 2012 long-term ascending breakout to all-time highs. This stock here can double over the next couple of years. It's that powerful. It's that powerful in its pipeline. And once again, when we look for longer-term trades or longer-term investments, we got to look at this name right here. When it pulls back from its overbought level and every long-term cycle, look, back over here in 2013 when Gilead started out, we hit major weekly highs. Yes, we did. And they had their pullbacks and they ran up and they made other highs. And right now, we're doing the very same thing. We're right up here and we're looking at it on this weekly level. So every chance we get in 2014, one of the things that we'll do is we'll actually buy the name on the pullbacks. And then we're going to go over here to the option tree and put in G-I-L-D. So how could we be in G-I-L-D for the long term? We can go clear out here to 2015, 2016, and we can take a look at the $100 calls that are up and out of the money two years out. And we can trade this for a whole lot less dollars than actually what? Owning the name. So if you own a thousand shares, it's seventy-five thousand dollars on a thousand. So when this thing pulls back and we want to go to calendar uh two thousand fifteen and two thousand fourteen, we can buy up and out of the money. And we could be involved and we could even go out three years. But here's the deal. We will trade the short term and the longer term. And what I'm saying is, is that over the next two year period, Gilead Sciences is going to be a major, major, major winning biotech company. And that what they have in the pipeline and their drugs 
and hepatitis C drug is one of them, and there's many others, HIV. Remember that Gilead Sciences is the one that had come up with the HIV prohibitors. And they're the ones that are coming with all the people that suffer with hepatitis C. They're going to be the leader in it. Yes, for the very first time, this company is going to do wonders for humanity. And this is GILD. And yes, we know how to buy long term. But then when it makes the highs, so we can use the options for long term. And then when it wants to pull back, we can short the name, but keep our long term investment and then get out of the short and let it keep going. And we can trade around the core holding on GILD. And there will be other biotech companies. And yes, we can buy long term, short term. We can get on the put side, the long side. We can diversify our long term investments in various certain biotechs. And then instead of owning them individually, we'll pick out one or two. But then we can play all of them right here, right now in that ETF. Special report the 12th month of 2013. 2014, 2015 are going to be great years and biotech will still outperform tech in general and it will outperform the financials and at times it will outperform semiconductors. We are just in the very beginning stages and a new revolution in medicine that is going to help more Americans in this world than any other time. And it's time to be able to know how to get involved in biotech.